Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you every possible way to link tasks in Microsoft Project, taking into consideration the different types of ways that you can link tasks. For example, start to start, finish to finish, start to finish and finish to start, putting lags and lead times in between the dependencies between your tasks and all kinds of other tips and tricks along the way. I'm going to show you different methods as well as different tips and tricks. Let's get started. So I've got the first exercise here and I've actually got a note to tell me what I want to do. So perform all the development tasks in series. So I basically just start on task one, do task two, three, four, and five. So design, build, install, test, and then that module 23 will be complete. So the easiest way to do this and my preferred way is to click on the first task, drag down to the last task, go to the task ribbon, and select link tasks in the schedule section of the task ribbon, like so. So there you go. You can see it's linked all the tasks together. They're now being performed in series. Behind the scenes, Microsoft Project has just put the numbers in the predecessors column. So for example, build module 23 is linked to the finished state of whatever is in line one, which happens to be design module 23, line one, as you can see here. We could have actually just come in. I'm going to delete these predecessors out. You can see we go back to where we were. You can come in and just start typing. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Simple as that. That's two of the easiest and quickest ways to link tasks in Microsoft Project. All right, second scenario. Let's change it up. Support and training happen simultaneously, but only after Project Online has been deployed. So we need to do support and training at the same time once deployed project online has been completed. So a couple of ways I could do this. I could come in here and put the predecessors. Like I say it's got to depend on seven. You can see updates. And this one's going to be done after seven as well. But we want them to be done at the same time. Okay. So we want their finish date, their start dates of support and training to be tied together. So they start at the same time specifically. So to do this, I'm actually going to tie training to support. So I'm going to say eight and then SS, which stands for start to start. So I'm actually linking the two start dates together. Whereby if I push this task out, they both push. But if for any other reason, support gets an, ex an external predecessor outside of deploying project online, Maybe it's our support staff are, are working on a different task as well. For example, module 23 complete. And I link that to support like so. You can see the training will push out too. Rather than it being dependent upon deploys project online, it's deploy, it's, it is dependent upon the start date of support. So it pushes out. So that's how we model it. When the two start dates need to be tied together, we'll use the start to start relationship. Sometimes when I'm in here, I, I will actually type the predecessors if I need to, if I'm getting in and doing some a little bit more complicate, complicated. You might be thinking at this point, why didn't it put finish to start in the predecessors column here? Well, it's the default, you know, when one task finishes, another one can start. So Microsoft Project does not do that. You do not need to put FS. It's always the default. You can put FS and it will just default back. Let's try that. So I've got one FS. You can see it just defaults back. So just remember that. Okay, next one. Deliver books to training site. Need to arrive at the same time as the books. So I'm going to deliver this books and travel to the training site. And I need to arrive at the same time. So we're going to tie the finish dates together. This time I'm going to click on the first task, drag down to the second task, click link tasks, and you can see finish to start. I want finish to finish. I want the, the delivery to, to happen at the exact same time as I'm finished traveling. I'm going to click on the link between the two tasks. That was quite delicate, but you can see it's the only way to get the task dependency dialog up. I'll show you that again. Either click on the arrowhead or the link between the two tasks. If you miss it, you'll get the bar styles. 
you'll get used to it. Click on line, double click, and you'll see this. This is a nice box. It allows very simplistically to come in, switch to finish to finish, and press OK. And then we go, the finish dates are now tied together. So obviously if it took me longer to deliver, will FedEx come back and say it's going to be delayed? You know, I know, I now know that I don't need to start traveling until Tuesday. Well, maybe I need to change my flight. I don't want to be arriving two days before the books. All right, next scenario. Exam is scheduled May the 12th. Well, that's not right, is it? Let's take a look at this one. So I need to take the PMP certification exam and study for it. So this is way out right. I need to reorder these two tasks like so. So I'm going to study and then take it. Before you link tasks together, try to get them in chronological order. It's going to make your life so much easier. And you can see this task here actually has a constraint on it. So it's not actually going to start until January 22. That's actually my second daughter's birthday. Little Scarlet Julianne. Well, anyway, so we have study and then take. So I need to study for it. It's going to take me five days. And then when I'm ready, I want to uh, take, the, take the test, four hours. However, I'm one of these crammers. I want to do the studying right up until the day I take the test. So how am I going to do this? Well, this is actually when we use the start to finish relationship. I want to link the start date of my studying to the finish date. Sorry, finish to start, I should say. No, nope, start to finish. I want to link the start date of taking the exam to the finish date of studying for the exam. Sounds quite, kind of backwards. But we really need to think through it because I'm going to use the control key in this time. I'm going to click on take PMP certification exam. I want to link the start date of that to the finish date of studying. We're going to plan backwards. So I click on take, hold down the control key, click on study, click link. See, it's kind of weird. Right now, because I've got the finish to start relationship, it remembers the order in which you click. So if I click here first and then put it, click to study, it puts the predecessor in 14 because of the order in which I clicked. However, I want to change this to be, instead of finish to start, we've done that, we've done start to start, we've done finish to finish, let's look at start to finish. Press OK. Great. So now we can see we're studying for the exam, and then we're taking the exam. You might think, well, why didn't I just link the studying of the exam, finish to start, to taking the PMP certification exam? Well because I want to plan backwards. If I decide oh, five days, I probably should put in eight days of work. I now know that I need to start sooner. That is the beauty of Microsoft Project. It tells us the dates. We don't give it dates. We give it knowledge. We put in the logic and it provides us with the dates. That is what it does. That is the scheduling engine. All right, next one. So order ice cream manufacturing equipment, and install the ice cream manufacturing equipment. I have a note here that says, I need to allow five days for FedEx to deliver after ordering. Okay, so order it and then install it. Now I'm gonna click on order, down to install, link the two. Now I need to put in five days. Well, what a lot of people will be tempted to do is say that, you know, this is gonna be six days instead of five instead of one, sorry. Well, you know, that's not the way we should do it because if you were to assign a resource to that task and it's six days, or if somebody else was to look at your schedule and take six days to order some material, some ice cream, that's crazy. Well, that's not what we wanna do. So what we're gonna do is actually double click on the link between the two tasks and we're gonna use this lag. So once we've ordered it, we'll wait five days and then it'll be installed. Let's count the days there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. That is because 
I mean, uh, sorry, seven days. That is because Microsoft Project does not take into consideration, based on the default calendar, the weekends. But that's because generally we don't work weekends. It's five business days. But we don't care about that because FedEx deliver on Saturdays and Sundays. And they've told us five days. They didn't say business days. So I'm actually going to double click on the link between the two tasks again. Instead of five days, I'm going to put five E days, which is elapsed. So it ignores weekends, five elapsed days. Boom. It will be delivered on Monday. Even though it's five days, we're taking into consideration the weekend. It should technically be starting Sunday, but you know, we can't install it until Monday. It'll arrive Sunday, but we can't install it to Monday because that's the next working day. All right. So technically it would arrive Sunday, but we don't work Sunday. So it's smart. It's always keeping up, keeping us honest. Next one, install assembly line equipment and test the assembly line equipment. And we've got a thing, send in the testing crew when installation is halfway complete. All right, so we're going to install it and then test it. When we're halfway through installation, our team can come in behind us and start testing everything. All right, well, we'll click on install. I'm going to link the finish date to the start date of test. Link the two. Now, again, I could have come in here and just typed in 20 into the predecessors. Same result. All right. So for this one, install, then test. But I want to leave 2.5 days. Well, you know, in this case, it's when we're, when we're halfway complete. So what I'm going to do, double click on the link between the two tasks. Come in here and say a minus slag. Ah, okay. Two, oh, I can't go full days. It's only four days. Okay. Three days. That'll do. We're almost halfway. Well, actually, no, we can get more specific. We can do 2.5 days. You just have to type. Microsoft Project is clever enough to know. So there we go. However, what about if I installed it and the installation takes 10 days? Well, now we're starting when we're 75% complete on the testing. Not what I wanted. So I want to have more of a, you know, I want it to be a relational amount of time. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a negative 50%. That's okay. Boom. So now when I decrease this down, we're starting at 2.5 days in. I go up one day, we're starting, you know, three days in. We've got a 50% lag. And as we increase the duration, likewise, it's going to push out that date. Really, really cool. You can use a percent lag. That can be positive or negative. All right, last one. This is where it gets really tough when we put everything we've learned into consideration. <laughs> Assemble meeting packets. Conduct the annual shareholder meeting. And on this one, I need to allow five days to deliver the meeting packets to the meeting site. So I need to assemble them, ship them, and then conduct the meeting. And again, I like to plan as quickly, you know, I want to get the meeting packets sent to press as late as possible because I might need to make some changes before the meeting. You know, anything can happen. So, you know, we have a go to press date. We must plan around that. So I want to link the finish date of assembling the meeting packets. In fact, I want to, the, the key thing is to conduct this annual shareholder meeting. So I should link the start date of that to the finish date of the meeting packets and then allow for FedEx again. So I'm going to use the start to finish so, because the critical time is the meeting, the, 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 the actual meeting. So click on this one, conduct annual shareholder meeting. I'm going to link the start date of this one to the Finish date of this one. So again, using the control key, I get that control link. You see, it goes in. Assemble meeting packets has it, has where the predecessor. I'm going to double click on the link between the two tasks, change that to a start to finish. Boom. So we're looking good. We're assembling and then conducting. However, I needed to allow for five days to deliver the meeting 